Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to simplify a mixed number. And if you know how to simplify a fraction, you're going to know how to simplify a mixed number, because all we do is simplify the fractional part of a mixed number and leave the whole number alone. So let's jump into our examples and see exactly what I mean by that. So for number one, we have four and 10 fifteenths. So remember, when we simplify a fraction, we are looking for common factors that we can divide both the numerator and denominator by. We want to break the fraction down to the lowest numbers in value that we possibly can. Now, when the only common factor between the numerator and denominator is one, we are in simplest form. So again, we only simplify the fractional part of a mixed number and we leave the whole number. So 10 fifteenths, what are some common factors of 10 and 15? What can we divide 10 and 15 by? Well, five. So let's divide the 10 and the 15 by five. And this is going to equal four. And well, 10 divided by five is two. 15 divided by five is three. Two thirds, the only common factor between two and three is one. So this is in simplest form, four and two thirds. Now, if you're unsure about factors and how to find factors or what they are, I do have a video on simplifying fractions where we list all the factors for the numerator and denominator and then go from there. I'll drop that link down in the description if you need more practice with simplifying fractions. Let's move on to number two, where we have seven and 12 twentieths. So we need to think of common factors between 12 and 20. What can we divide both 12 and 20 by? Well, four, let's divide them both by four. And this is going to give us seven. 12 divided by four is three. And 20 divided by four is five. So we get seven and three fifths. The only common factor between three and five is one. So the fractional part is in simplest form. Now for number two, there is more than one path that we can take to get to simplest form. So let's do this again but using a different common factor. So four is the greatest common factor between 12 and 20. So we were able to simplify in one step, but maybe you are thinking that two is a common factor between 12 and 20. They are both even, which is correct. So let's divide both of them by two and see what happens. This will give us seven and well, 12 divided by two is six, 20 divided by two is 10. So we have seven and six tenths, which is different than our seven and three fifths, but we still have a common factor other than one. Six and 10 have a common factor of two. So we can divide by two again. We end up with seven and Six divided by two is three. 10 divided by two is five. The only common factor between three and five is one. So we are in simplest form, seven and three fifths. So two different paths there, but the same exact answer. Both are correct. When we divided by four, we divided by the greatest common factor between 12 and 20, and we were able to simplify in one step. The bottom one, where we started by dividing by two, we divided by something less than the greatest common factor. So simplifying took more than one step, which again is perfectly okay. We got to the same answer either way. So there you have it. There's how you simplify a mixed number. You only need to simplify the fractional part of the mixed number. You leave the whole number alone. So if you're able to simplify fractions, you're able to simplify mixed numbers. If you're looking for more help with simplifying fractions, I added links to more videos down in the description. I hope that helped. 
Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.